Hey everyone, so here's two minutes on the term body bag or cadaver bag, cadaver pouch, or if you're military, you may have heard of an HRP, human remains pouch. So the military is where the body bag originated. Dr. Thomas Holmes, way back in the day, had one of the first patents for what is considered now a body bag. However, he was very far ahead of his time with this, but he had tried to create something to shroud and encase a deceased to be moved to another location. However, it wasn't until World War II that we found what we now refer to as a body bag or human remains pouch or cadaver pouch. A body bag is any type of a non-porous container pouch shroud of some sort to be able to move a deceased from one place to another or to store a deceased in a cooler morgue mortuary of some sort. So in the military back in the uh, World War II and even through all the rest of the wars, these containers could have been made out of parachutes or bedding definitely not non-porous, but they used what they had at the time. So it was anything to contain that deceased for movement from one place to another. Now, fast forward in the mortuary field or in the funeral director world here, um, we use the body bags, not typically we don't place individuals in them usually, unless it's a situation where the person is decomposed and we wanna encase them um, because of smell or leakage for burial. We often receive individuals that are inside of some type of a pouch or a body bag from the medical examiner, the coroner, or a hospital. Not all hospitals use these, but some have moved over to them, especially during right now the time of COVID-19 where they are just encasing individuals so there's less exposure to anybody at the hospitals that are handling people that die at the hospitals. Um, so we may receive people in the body bags. We don't reuse them. We throw them away in biohazardous waste if the individual is not buried in that body bag, which does happen every once in a while if their condition is to the extreme that we need to keep them encased. So body bags, they may be side zip, they may be front zip, they may be gray, black, white. They may come in a heavy, heavy material, a rubber, a plastic, um, or they may be a little bit thinner of a material. So all varieties, all different types, but these are what body bags are and what they're used for and when we use them here at the funeral home.